Israel ramps up bombardment of Gaza as tanks and troops mass at the border. The Israeli military said Friday it launched overnight the most intense bombardment of its five-day military operation in the Gaza Strip, adding tank and artillery fire from the ground to its campaign of airstrikes as the death toll from the crisis continued to rise. The military said the aim of the strikes, which included the use of 160 aircraft, was to destroy an elaborate network of tunnels underneath residential neighborhoods used by Hamas, the armed group that governs Gaza. The introduction of ground forces is a widening of the Israeli offensive, which has resulted in the most severe shelling of Gaza since a 50-day war between Israel and Hamas in 2014. Fearing a possible Israeli ground incursion, Palestinian families could be seen fleeing their homes in areas close to the border with Israel, including the town of Beit Hanoun, in the northern Gaza Strip, heading to United Nations schools that would be used as shelters. The UN said Thursday that at least 1,750 Gaza residents had been displaced by the shelling. This is the first time in my life living something like this, said a man in Beit Hanoun. The sky is blood red. Israeli ground forces have moved along the boundary with Gaza, but haven't entered the Palestinian territory, according to Israeli military spokesman Jonathan Konrikas. The previous night, Mr. Konrikas said Israeli troops had entered Gaza, but later retracted the statement. Mr. Konrikas said the erroneous announcement of a ground incursion was the result of an internal miscommunication. He said he took responsibility for the mistake. Palestinian armed groups also fired 55 rockets toward Israel overnight, the military said. None of the missiles was fired toward central Israel, in a shift from previous nights of bombardment, when the shelling reached Tel Aviv and other major Israeli population centers.